Fighting against and reversing insulin resistance is a very, very good thing for you to be doing, and I hope you're doing that. Here's the problem that you may not be aware of. There's actually a list of prescription medications that can worsen your insulin resistance. And so as you're actively correcting your diet, trying to improve your insulin resistance, you're unknowingly taking a prescription medication that's making your insulin resistance worse. Yeah, that could be happening. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and I'm going to give you the list of medications that can worsen insulin resistance. Having out of control insulin resistance increases your risk of heart attack, stroke, kidney failure, liver failure, and lots of other bad things. And so I hope that you're trying to reverse your insulin resistance. But if you're taking one of the medications I'm about to tell you about, they could actually be worsening your insulin resistance and fighting against your best efforts. Now I'm gonna give you this list of the very common medications that can worsen insulin resistance. At the end of this video, the last list I'm gonna tell you about you would never guess that these medications would worsen insulin resistance because they actually seem like they should be fighting against it. You're gonna be surprised by this. The first drug class that worsens insulin resistance, you may already know, is the thiazide diuretic. So HCTZ, hydrochlorothiazide, HCT, and in dapamide, which are used for edema or blood pressure, can all worsen your insulin resistance. The next drug class is the beta blockers like propranolol, metoprolol, and atenolol used for heart conditions or high blood pressure can absolutely make your insulin resistance worse. The next drug class is the second generation antipsychotics, drugs like Abilify, Geodon, Seroquel, and Zyprexa. Now these are FDA approved for psychotic disorder schizophrenia, but they're very, very often used for off-label for other psychiatric conditions, OCD, uh, some stress and anxiety disorders, PTSD, and other things. So it just you might say, well, I don't have schizophrenia, but make sure you're not taking one of these second generation antipsychotics for an off-label indication. The next drug class is fluoroquinolone antibiotics like Cipro and Leviquin and phloxacin, uh, these are, you're gonna be taking these hopefully fairly short term, so they shouldn't cause a big effect, but they can worsen your insulin resistance. The next drug class is corticosteroids like deltazone, prednisone, methylprednisolone, and prednisolone. Uh, you would typically hope to take these short term for an inflammatory disorder, but many people take these long term, and even though they're trying to improve their diet, their insulin resistance won't improve, and this is why. The next drug that can worsen your insulin resistance is niacin, whether it's the prescription strength or an over-the-counter supplement version of niacin, it can absolutely worsen insulin resistance. And finally, the drug class that worsens insulin resistance uh, definitely, without, without doubt, and by definition, they worsen your insulin resistance, and this is very many of the medications for type 2 diabetes. So if you have type 2 diabetes, then almost by definition, you have insulin resistance, right? And, but many people are taking an anti-diabetic medication for their type 2, and it's absolutely worsening their insulin resistance. And so they can't understand why the dietary changes that they've made is not helping their insulin resistance enough to reverse it. And so uh, basically glucophage or metformin is one of the very few anti-diabetic medications for type two diabetics that does not worsen insulin resistance. I'm gonna put the full list of anti-diabetic medications that absolutely worsen insulin resistance down in the show notes below, but I'm gonna tell you just the most common ones that you see advertised on television all the time, Bieta, uh, absolutely worsens insulin resistance on Glyza, Genuvia, Trigenta, Micronase, Glucotrol, Amaryl, so that would be Glyburide, Glipizide, and Glomipiride. All three of those absolutely worsen your insulin resistance. Uh, then Starlix and Prandin as well. So all of these medications for type 2 diabetes, the way they work to lower your blood sugar is by making your pancreas secrete more insulin. Now also any injectable insulin for a type two diabetic by definition 
makes your insulin resistance worse because you're injecting exogenous insulin, which is raising your insulin, making your hyperinsulinemia worse, and therefore causing your insulin resistance to be worse. So as you lower the carbohydrates in your daily diet, trying to improve your insulin resistance, go back over your medication list and make sure you're not taking one of the medications I talk about in this video that absolutely makes your insulin resistance worse. Yeah, the worst thing in the world is for you to be trying to do better and for one of your prescription medications to be hamstringing you and causing you to fail even though you're trying. Hope this video helped. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.